time to meet a snake with such fantastical looking fangs. They seem too terrifying to be real. Meet the Gaboon Viper. The Gaboon Viper is the world's heaviest viper, weighing in on average around 17 to 22 pounds, and has been said in extreme cases to double up to a whopping 45 pounds. It packs that impressive weight into a smaller frame, giving it the appearance of a much larger snake. The Gaboon Viper actually grows only four to five feet in length, though it has been documented at up to six feet. That's a lot of weight in a small body. Its thick body has an almost humorously short and squat tail, yet its beauty is no laughing matter. This viper is dotted with a stunning pattern of light and dark colors. Shades of black, brown, purple, and even pink intricately work together to form diamonds, triangles, and stripes down the viper's body. Around its eyes, dark lines produce a radiant design. Every bit of this reptile is elegant, including its head. Broad, triangular, and flat, it resembles that of an arrowhead and measures nearly six inches across its widest point. Here we can see the Gaboon's resemblance to the Rhinoceros Viper, as two perfectly symmetrical nasal horns frame its striking pattern. They are located near the nostrils and lift just off its head, lending the Gaboon Viper an almost regal feel. There are two subspecies of this beautiful snake, the West and East African Gaboon Vipers. The former is the bigger and darker of the two. In the snake world, this species is one of nature's masterpieces, although many small animals in Africa may disagree. Gaboon Vipers are found widely dispersed throughout the equatorial belt of Africa. This includes East Africa, Central Africa, and Southeast Africa. They inhabit sub-Saharan tropical rainforests and other wet ecosystems and are primarily a low elevation dweller. On the jungle floor is where the Gaboon's body is best concealed by its intricate camouflage. They simply ball themselves into a coiled vessel among piles of leaves and branches until they are nearly invisible. And then, for up to three quarters of the day, they wait. And wait. For rodents. Rabbits royal antelope, tree monkeys, the bush-tailed porcupine, doves, frogs, and occasionally a large insect. Anything small enough to venture into the crosshairs of the viper's ambush becomes a snack. The strike is hard and can reach up to 200 miles per hour. And unlike other vipers, once they strike, they don't let go. They wait for their venom to seep in and finish the kill. Which brings us back to their fangs. The Gaboon Viper's fangs are perhaps the most impressive and terrifying in the snake world. Perfectly curved, even saber-like, they measure in at around 2.2 inches, making them the longest venomous snake fangs on Earth. And those fangs pack a powerful punch, the delivery of which the Viper can fully control. They can actually deliver bites completely void of venom, or, thanks to their massive venom glands, they can inject unmatched amounts of it into a victim compared to any other venomous snake alive. The Gaboon's venom is much more of a concentrated weapon. It doesn't attack the bloodstream or the nervous system, nor is it as strong as other venom types. But instead, it is classified as a cytotoxic, meaning that it targets and destroys cells and tissues. This causes intense pain, severe swelling, blistering, severe shock, and even convulsions. This pain-triggering venom goes to work immediately and can result in local tissue damage and amputation. Fortunately, death to humans occurs rarely. For as menacing as the Gaboon Viper may appear, it is one of the most passive snakes on Earth, when it comes to human interaction, that is. It is shy and sometimes characterized as placid, in fact, the snake is so low-key that discoverings of hatchlings in the St. Lucia area of South Africa shocked officials in the early 2000s, as it signaled that Gaboon viper populations often grow next to human populations without humans ever knowing it. Almost all bites to humans occur simply from the viper trying to protect itself after a person unwittingly steps on its impressively camouflaged body. 
When otherwise confronted, the viper will raise the upper part of its body and produce a mighty hiss in an attempt to ward off the offending party. It has few natural predators, especially when full grown, and is an apex predator itself. Only the monitor lizard and the secretary bird commonly hunt them, although cobras and African wild cats do occasionally munch on them as well. It is a good thing they are adaptable and have few predators, as they are very slow to breed. Females typically give birth to around 50 hatchlings every two to three years, although they can go as long as five years between mating. The mating itself is just about the only times members of the species interact. Typically a slow-moving snake, the male will travel two-thirds of a mile per day looking for a mate. And should he meet a competitor, the two males will vie for the rights to female companionship, a ritual that requires the rivals to lift their heads high and interlock their necks before pinning down the head of the other. The first one to do so wins a chance to approach the female. If she accepts him, they will breed, and 12 months later, she'll deliver her young. The cycle then continues. More stunning snakelets and more killer fangs.